Our process is very simple. We take the carbon negative CO2 from biogas plants in the wastewater treatment industry or landfills, the CO2 from breweries or bioethanol plants. We take captured CO2 from the production of cement or steel. And why not? Captured CO2 directly from the air. We mix it with water and feed it into our bioelectrochemical reactor. This is where the magic happens. Our reactor has been strategically designed to absorb excess power and produces microbubbles of hydrogen. The reactor is also home to a special group of microorganisms. We adapted these microorganisms to eat the hydrogen and dissolved CO2 and produce methane. The process is called microbial methanation and we like to call the resulting product synthetic natural gas. Currently, available methanation solutions are integrated and multi-step processes. They initially convert electricity into hydrogen and oxygen using commercial electrolyzers. The resulting hydrogen is then compressed and CO2 and fed to the microorganisms responsible for the manufacture of synthetic natural gas. This approach works, but it is usually expensive and has shown energy losses. Our approach produces synthetic natural gas in one single step at a fraction of the cost of incumbent solutions. Now, imagine a factory where heating using wind and solar power is not really possible. For example, in the cement and steel industry. Instead, they take natural gas from the gas network to heat up reactors and buildings. By collecting the derived CO2 from this process, they can use our technology to convert their CO2 emissions back into fuel. The synthetic fuel is injected into the local gas network wherein the factory is connected. And voila! We create a closed loop that captures CO2 within the gas network that already exists and is ready to store all that energy. See our technology on the eFuels Technologies website www eFuelsTech.com